hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video we're gonna start uh, adding more co commands to our project so let's create a new branch which is going to be the 0 0.8 base uh, bring changes to 0 0.8 cool let's publish this repository and let me just go to my github my pedro let's see if it's here um 0.8 okay it's here let's open up visual studio and today we're gonna add some more commands let's just start by running we want to run this to see if everything is all right okay let's run it i want to see how good this is right now to get to get some perspective tell me the time the time now is 1843 tell me the time tell me the time the time now is 1843 which year is it the date is day 12 month 29 and year 2020. Okay, it seems quite good. Now we're gonna add some more commands, okay? Uh, we could, tr okay. Um, we got an error, which I think is, okay, it has something in with the, with the length of the text, which we, sh we should um, do. If line text is greater than 48, we're gonna do x equals x until 48. Okay, okay, so let's go. Uh, fixing fixing x for input classifier. Okay, good. Uh, let's now. I'm gonna add some more commands. Let's go to. I need to go to the time. Okay. Uh, let's go get date. Uh, to get the date, I need to create create a list of months. So I'm gonna return months equals uh, list of months. Okay, let's, we got this, we're gonna create a, a list of mounts, so we could pass to the, to that function, I'm gonna copy all of this, um, list of mounts, uh, is there a way, Python, let me see how to get the list of mounts using Python. Let's see if it, this is possible at all. It seems it is. Okay. Um. Oh, interesting. So we're gonna do this, and I wanna test this out. Uh, get date. Let's let's go. Um, let's go with. Okay, I need to pay attention here. B is none. Okay. Let's see. We got a date. One's January, February, March, April, May. Okay, let's see. STF percent B. Mm, I don't get it. Okay, let's go with let's go with this. I'm gonna print um 
this because I want to see what we got here and let's let's okay let's call from um system info dot get date should be should be enough yeah it does work okay so we got uh january february march and okay that's that's good so now uh let's go with answer it's going to be equal today is in english we say um the month and day and year of i think this is going to be format day time oh now now dot and let's uh, copy this uh month day is going to be now dot day and the years now dot year this should be enough let's uh remove this let's go with return return answer and let's go let's put a print here so this should get me the, the month Where is it? Okay, okay, it's good, good. Now I need to fix a, bu a bug, um, which is I think I saw it on the model, which is exactly right here. Okay, so this function that computes the maximum sentence. Is actually looking for characters but we are looking for bytes so we need to add here the bytes function the bytes uh, let's go with fix uh, fix max max sent uh, bug uh, get the max max number of bytes of a sentence okay let's go let's commit this i'm gonna solve this um right now it should um let's go with bytes and then x dot encode utf a because uh we need to get the bytes uh length so if you are working with a language that, that uses more than two bytes per per character that should not uh work but now it should work so uh let's run this model to train it let's run it 256 epochs okay good plus fire train let's let's run our main.py actually let's go with entity here let's add another uh if here if entity equals equals time slash slash get date we're gonna do speak system info dot get date we should actually uh split this into some other function to to be more precise but let's just go with this by uh by now so let's run it and we should see something very interesting tell me the date oh top time has no length wait i'm doing something here Oh, I see. I should put text. 
و... hmm. text equals text okay should be good now let's try again and we should be fine now tell me the time okay put overflow uh let's ch change the parameter let's put eight kilobytes here and here should be enough let's and we're gonna try to figure this out guys i was testing different settings and it worked let's see if it works now what time is today is december 29th of 2020 what time is tell me the time the time now is 1853 which year is it the date is day 12 month 29 and year 2020 okay we should uh, maybe we should we should print the answer uh maybe calling when we call the the speak function we could print um the the text and it's interesting that i, I was talking now and it didn't recognize as a command which is good because we don't want this to be recognizing anything we say okay so by now i think we're good let's just commit this um uh, I think I solved I solved the input of overflow. Uh, overflow error. Okay, let's commit this and in the next video we're gonna continue with this project. So thank you guys so much if, so much for watching this video. See you guys next time.